How's it going guys? Mark Bursteiner here with Techno Buffalo and I thought it might be fun to do a quick video with you guys just talking about what we can do to make our devices run as efficiently as possible. You know, these days there's so much going on in our pockets that it becomes kind of tough to manage everything our smart devices are doing. So I just wanted to take a few minutes to talk about some misconceptions and some tools that you can use to make the most out of your Android devices. First off, stop killing your apps. Like have a seat, take a deep breath, Listen to what I'm about to say to you. Do not use a task manager. Don't do it. Don't constantly be going through your recents and swiping them away. Most importantly, OEMs, stop putting a close all button in your recents menu. Killing apps compulsively like this is just gonna result in diminished battery life and performance. Killing a task ends the process and that prevents the process from being cached in your phone's memory, which means that when you're ready to use that app again, it's gonna wind up using more CPU cycles and more time to recreate the process from scratch. The only exceptions here are a device with low RAM, so if you need to free up some space, you can go ahead and dismiss an app. Or if you don't use it frequently, then by all means, kill it. Otherwise, just let your device do what it was built to do. While we're on the topic though, Greenify is a phenomenal root app that will allow you to designate apps as hibernated, which is a kind of happy medium between totally active and totally disabled. I use Greenify on my Nexus 6 to hibernate data and battery guzzlers so that when I'm not using them, they're not off running rampant, but they're still available there when I need them. And this is actually the number one reason why I still root my device. Here's a big one. Lots of folks these days love to turn your Wi-Fi off when you're not using it because it's using power. Yes, that's true, it is using power, but you know what uses more power? Cellular radios. Don't just turn your Wi-Fi off just because you're not connected to a network. Your phone can still use open networks and your Wi-Fi radio to identify your location a lot more quickly than say, a GPS can. I say a GPS because that's what we all have in our devices, assisted GPS. It uses GPS signal and signal from your cell radios to help identify your location. If your Wi-Fi is off, your phone has to rely on just a GPS, which is your cell radios and your GPS signal to find you, when if it were on Wi-Fi, it could find you more quickly, more often than not, and the battery that you would lose by leaving it on is pretty negligible. Plus, it could also save you a ton of data if you're in range of a network that you've used before. While we're talking about our data usage, Opera Max is an app that is surprisingly well designed. It gives you a ton of control over the data consumption on your phone. Like many other apps in this vein, Opera Max uses a VPN to funnel all of your traffic through, compress it, and then get it back to your device, resulting in far lower data usage. This is a godsend for those of you who aren't on unlimited plans with your carrier. You can even allow or restrict access on a per app basis, which is actually kind of cool. Ultimately, it amounts to a non-trivial amount of data savings, which could mean the difference between going over your data cap and staying comfy right under that ceiling. That's all the tips that I've got for you right now. If you have questions or comments, feel free to give me a shout either down below or over on Twitter at Mark B. Otherwise, you can like this video if you enjoyed it. You can subscribe to get ahead of lettuce delivered to your doorstep every Thursday evening. And you should also, of course, be kind to each other, and I will catch you in the next video.